This video is sponsored by DA Lubricant Company. Give your fleet bumper to bumper protection. Visit DALube.com to learn more. Of all the frightening horrors that lurk in the dark, there's one creature comprehensively detested by fleet managers everywhere. Always stalking, always watching, counting the grains of sand run down the timer until it's his time to strike. A vile abomination, this beast has terrorized those fleets looking to save a dollar for as long as you can remember. Some tell stories of fleet managers who have gone mad from just the thought of when this loathsome brute stops by again, degrading and contaminating bulk oil orders. But of course, those are only tall tales. I am the Fleet Keeper, and I speak, of course, of the Oil Expiration Execution. <laughs> it's easy to think of oil as a commodity buy. You put in your bulk order, set up your delivery schedule, and roll your PMs without thinking much about it. But beware, bulk oil comes with a hefty bulk of considerations. Is there any way to stave off the oil expiration executioner for good? To find out, we've invited a real expert in this stuff, Jim Salmon from DA Lubricant Company. Jim, what are the biggest risks when it comes to buying and storing oil in bulk? One of the biggest concerns is always contamination. Uh, when, you're, when you're transferring fluids from one container to another, there's always a risk of contamination. Uh, common use of transfer pumps or um, hoses or any type of equipment that's used, as well as the environment. If you're filling it outside, you run a risk of contamination. So that's probably the biggest issue. What would the typical shelf life be for bulk oil stored in an ideal setting? Yeah, one of the biggest concerns would be contamination or co-mingling of existing products are in the tank common use of transfer pumps or hoses or equipment used to pump in there that was used on another product prior to can always be a risk. Environment, if you're pumping outside, dirt can also be a source of contamination. Most oil companies or oil manufacturers will accept bulk oil returned after it's tested within one year. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of different factors that depend on that 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 will depend on the type of product being used, the type of base oil it's being used, uh, the environment it's being stored in. Uh, you said ideal conditions, but that's not realistic in, in most cases. So like food-based product products or food grade products as well as some vegetable based products may have a shorter shelf life, but kind of as a rule of thumb for most hydrocarbon based products, three years in ideal situations mm -hmm. is satisfactory. And what tips do you have for fleet managers who want to store bulk oil? Well, obviously you want to have the, if you're going to store it in a bulk tank and it's not new, you want to have the tank tested. If there's any fluid in there, have it tested, inspected for make sure it's clean uh, prior to filling anything like that. So the tank should hopefully be stored inside if possible. That way weather and environment's not a major concern. And when they're ordering, try not to order any more than you're going to be using in six to 12 months just so the product doesn't set and then it can be, there's a risk of contamination there. If they're buying what we consider smaller bulk quantities like drums, uh, the drum should be stored inside, usually at a horizontal position with the bung at 12 o'clock position. This will help eliminate any, any contamination. Then going back to uh, what we said earlier, using a dedicated pump or hose or dispensing container for each product to keep them cross-contaminated. Thanks a lot, Jim. No, thank you. So while there is unfortunately no foolproof method to forever stave off this unsympathetic soul, there are a few things you can do to delay its arrival. First, the environment where bulk oil is stored matters an awful lot. An oil product should be stored indoors in a cool, dry environment, preferably elevated or off the floor on pallets, free of excess heat, light, and moisture, and not exposed to wide ambient temperature fluctuations. It's actually very similar to how you might store a gallon of milk from the grocery store. Fluid exposed to significant extremes like heat and moisture is much more likely to degrade, as is the likelihood of contamination when kept around for lengthy periods of time. 
If your oil starts sitting to the point you have flipped through multiple office calendars, you'll want to be sure to confirm its integrity is intact by performing an oil analysis from a qualified laboratory before trying to use it. Oil sitting around that long should also definitely be stored in bulk storage tanks that have a functional breather and filtration system. The bottom line is, the storage of any given fluid, specifically fluid bought with the intent of being used within several weeks, months, or even years, should be considered carefully. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentbank.com. May the monsters that haunt your fleet show your trucks mercy, and thanks for watching.